Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about the next color scheme, and this one is called a triad. And for some great examples, we're going to look at the work of Tristan Elwell that does all kind of covers in young adult, editorial, and a variety of other genres. He also teaches painting and illustration at the School of Visual Arts in New York, so check him out. Now, in the abstract, a triad is three colors that are exactly equidistant on the color wheel. So red, yellow, and blue is a very basic example of a triad. You might also recognize that red, yellow, and blue are primary colors. So here's an example of a triad color scheme in a painting. We can call the anchor color that sky cyan color. And then the red and the yellow are the other parts of the triad. But it just so happens that Tristan didn't make this an exactly equilateral triad. He actually modified it a bit, bringing the red and the yellow a little closer to one another. So you might be asking, well, why is this still a triad? Well, the way you can tell if it's a triad or not is if you draw an imaginary line straight from the anchor color through to the other side of the wheel, and then you measure the angle of difference between the other two colors. If they're equal, it's a triad. So in this diagram, angle X and angle Y are the same. That means that it's a triad. He could have used an equilateral triad, in which case it would have looked like this, where it's 120 degrees between each of the three colors. But sometimes when you do this, it's a little less nuanced. So to add a richness to his color scheme, he brought red and yellow a little closer together. He also desaturated them quite a bit. This next example almost looks like an analogous color palette, and that's because two arms of the triad are very desaturated. So it has a very nuanced look. But if you notice, the hue of each of those three anchors in the triad are exactly 120 degrees apart from one another. There's a primarily green sense to this because the anchor color is a yellow green, and it's definitely the most saturated. But the other two colors are 120 degrees apart on the color wheel. So triads can be very obvious or very subtle. But either way you want to do it, triads can be a really nice way to build a palette because they have a natural harmony when you spread those three colors equidistant around the color wheel. So next time you go looking around the internet for inspiration, look to see if they're using triad color schemes or give it a try yourself. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos.